there are some issues in our code. Today, let's fix the most serious ones. So if I go to contact search here in this line 44, we are using a stream from the contact manager and we are using the stream, we are uh, consuming the stream, but we are also passing a parameter, the query. And this is not the proper way of doing that. In our manager, we should distinguish between inputting data and outputting data. So when I was introducing this idea of, of a manager, which is the block pattern, we were talking about streams, which are exposed to our application, and sinks, which are methods or mechanisms for accepting data, for receiving data. Managers expose streams to provide data to the application and they receive data through sinks. So if you want to send something or if you want to parameterize something, the result of the stream, you should pass this data through a sync. You should communicate that to a manager through a sync. Sync is the only way to send data to the manager. It's very bad to do it this way. And there are several problems here. The first one, the most obvious one, is that we are creating a stream from scratch each time we are passing something here. Ideally, we would prefer that our UI is connected to the streams of data constantly. Whenever something changes, the data is being passed. So we establish the connection with, with our state, with our data once, and then we just wait or receive the data once it's available and display it in the, in the UI. And here we are creating the stream over and over again. In order to change that, we need to introduce a sync. So we need to introduce this interface, this uh, mechanism to the manager that it can receive data. So let's go ahead and do that. So I will create a sync and I will say that this sync will be accepting strings, which will be the queries we are using to uh, filter the contact list. And this will be a getter. I will use another convention here. So I will be prefixing all my sinks with the in prefix. So this will be called in filter. So manager in filter. And this will be another. So we need to first create the stream. So let's create a publish subject. So publish subject is just a stream. It's like a stream controller, but it's provided by dots reactive extensions. So it comes with some additional things and we won't be discussing that now but the reasons why i use the published subject instead of stream controller will be more obvious later on so right now just bear with me so this is a filter subject so you should just just remember that this is a stream controller and that's that's enough so we are creating this subject here and this subject has a sync and we are exposing this sync as a getter to the, the consumers of this manager. This sync is the only way to receive data by this manager. So now let's construct the way of um, passing data to the stream or to reacting to the changes that we uh, receive. And it means that we will take our subject, we will listen to its stream, and this stream will have the, the queries that users type. So whenever someone types something in the, in the search, this will be sent through the sync. And once we listen on the stream, we will receive that query. So this is the query we are getting. And now we need to do something with this query. So once we receive the query, we just need to execute the search using our contact service. So we just say contacts, await, and we just grab this line, or this section. So we receive the filter, we execute the search, and we await for the results. So this needs to be an async method. And once we have the, the results that we received from our service, we will push that to another stream, to the stream that it's exposed that manager exposes to the to our application. In this case, it will be a collection subject, and we will add contacts. 
So collection subject will be um, another published subject, which will be a stream of lists of contacts. So collection subject publish subject like so and now let's expose this stream so I will remove this browse or I will just reuse it so instead of doing it like that this will be a getter and this will be collection subject stream simply let's fix these errors here so we don't need this actually we need to just change this to um, collection subject so here we are listening to the stream that is connected with the sync we are receiving the data from outside of the manager and we are reacting by executing the, the search through the contact service and here we are listening to the um, internal changes so once we add the contacts here this stream will receive this data and we can like, push it further so in this case we will add it to the, the count because once we have the, a list of contacts we want to count the number of them and push it to outside as a number as an integer through this count uh, stream let's just be consistent with the naming so I'm naming all my controllers by adding the subject suffix so let's do the same with the counter so I will just call it count subject like that and here let's let's change it so count subject and here it's very slow VS code is very slow and here So we need to close those, dispose of those uh, controllers and the dispose method. We are not really using this part yet and I won't be explaining it now. We will do it later, but it's, uh, let's do it like that. So that looks good. And let's go back to the contact search. So now we cannot pass the filter as the parameter because this is a stream. This is not a function. So we are just listening. We need to pass it differently. So we have this manager here, so we can just say manager in filter add the, the query. In this case, we need to add the query that the user typed. So this is the, which is available as, a, as the query um, getter. So we can just add it here. And once it's added, the stream that we're getting here receives that data. We listen to that we get the value of it and we pass it to the service to execute the search and then we push the results the list of contacts to another uh, stream through a controller through a subject and uh, and then when it's done we list because we listen to this another to this internal subject here we also receive this list in this place and we can count it so finally we push the data again outside through the count uh, stream. So those three lines here are the, um, the interface of this manager. This manager receives data only through this sync using infilter and doing the add because we are adding something to the sync and it exposes only those two streams and that's all. Getting data through sync, doing some computation, let's say, internally and exposing the data like filtered data or the counter through the streams okay so that looks good but there is another method here we need to improve that but here in this um, contact screen whenever we are opening the um, the screen we need to uh, provide the initial we need to execute the initial uh, query to the api so we need to explicitly say that we need to execute this query first time and we need to do it here in the in the contact screen because otherwise our screen will be waiting for the data so as you 
probably could guess we need to do manager we need to use the sync here in filter and we need to add the query and this will be a, an empty query because we want to have all results initially at the first when we open the the contacts list we want to have all the contacts so we are passing empty query but we need to pass this query so that this mechanism which is defined here can execute the query for the first time so as you can see it displays the initial results so that that looks good so that works so now let's test if searching works as well so if i type search and i type query it searches and it receives the data but now if i click back watch what happens you can see there are some some problems it switched to the one result, then it switched to the, the full list again. So something is wrong and we will uh, address that in the next episode. And, and this will be a more substantial introduction to the reactive extensions uh, in Dart, the different methods and the, the reasons why we use subjects now instead of controllers. That's it for today. See you next time.